here's the smart part about this filter. It's multiple things that could be inconvenient or annoying specifically about this filter being smart is, and I'll show this. So this is the filter again with the center piece put back in. And if you were to open this up yourself, you would see at the very bottom is this white ring that's all the way down at the bottom. It may not seem like it's anything, but when I took the filter apart, I did notice it and realized that it's actually an RFID, a radio frequency ID. The RFID is actually under this white uh, seal. I'm going to open that up and then show what it looks like. So once you remove this white membrane on the inside, you can see some wires coiled. And then right here, you'll actually see a chip. So that's what it looks like when you pull it out. When you look at this side, it doesn't seem like it's much, but when you look here, you can actually see that it is a chip. I'll try to do a better close up of this, but you can see there's a chip there. So that sits inside there. Again, here's what makes it a smart filter. Even if you come across this, you'd be like, okay, I don't know what this is or what it does. But because this is at the bottom of the filter, when you put this new filter in, what happens is the RFID, which typically consists of a transponder, a radio receiver, and a transmitter, this is going to slide down, go to the bottom. And what's gonna happen is this is going to communicate with the piece underneath the water tank. It's gonna basically let it know, hey, the filter's been replaced and it's gonna have a unique number. So that's where in some cases you may think that uh, I'll just trick the machine, take the filter out and put the filter back in. Unfortunately, because the RFID has a unique number it's already going to know that this filter has been used. So you can't really trick the coffee maker, unfortunately. I personally don't know if this can be reprogrammed. Depending on how much coffee you drink or how many people drink coffee in your household, you'll come to realize that depending on, you know, if you have two or three people drinking multiple cups of coffee, you could be replacing one of these filters, you know, every month possibly and unfortunately what happens is you'll get a message that says replace the filter you can go into the settings and change it to no filter whether the filter is in it or not just uh, select no filter and then you won't get error messages and then so that's the information about the rfid and what makes the filter a smart filter and unfortunately this allows Jura to control the specific filters their filters on their coffee makers so that you really can't even use any other filter I, I guess you could use another filter if in fact somebody else makes filters that are the same uh, you could use the filters and then just change the settings to no filter because the filter would still in fact be used because it's in the tank but selecting no filter would basically you would never get any messages to change the filter out so you would just have to change the filter out if you were to buy an aftermarket type filter you would just have to change it out when you think you need to change it out for the cost of these filters i think it's kind of ridiculous how often they have to be replaced there you go that is how the jura clearill smart filter works and what makes it a smart filter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and or comment and or share. Thank you.